Good morning. Welcome to this moment. Welcome to the here and now. This morning I want to talk to you about how to begin activating your light body, your body of light, the avatar. And maybe a couple hindrances, a couple things that have hindered you from experiencing the avatar in its most full euphoric state. The very first thing is to not take anything that I'm saying right now as information that you're grabbing a hold of. So instead of taking notes, don't take notes. Just allow it to come. If you need to watch this video a couple times, watch it. Watch it through as many times as you need to. Just let it wash over you in a very pure, beautiful way, allowing your conscious and subconscious of the avatar to um, bring in whatever it needs and let go of whatever it needs. But that there's a continual flow of information and awareness instead of you trying to take something in and it becoming stagnant. You can take in information about a computer or about how to uh, unclog a toilet, but when you're talking about a body of light that is your body, your body is an energetic suit, an energy form. Every single part of the body that you are living in is energy that is taking on various forms. You have energy of your liver, and of your heart, and of your kidneys, and uh, of your skin, and your brain. Every aspect of your body is energy that is taken at a slightly different frequency. The reason why we've begun to experience bodies of death that are time-based bodies of death it are, is because of the dual world that we believe is real just like we believe there is us and God we believe there is me and you so the first step to activating the body of light is to begin letting go of the idea of duality it's just in your mind it's just perceptual awareness my eyes perceive you as separate from me but in actuality, these even these bodies, these energetic suits, are tied inseparably together by the space that joins us, uh, by the space that we are unfolding within. We are one. But we're perceiving two, and as a result, and you can check out the video here on that. But as the result of that dualistic mentality we've stopped enjoying the body of light that we are animating second thing this is very important as long as you believe that your body and mind is what you are you will die as long as you believe that the body and mind is what you are then you will not animate you will not activate and you will not experience the fullness of the body and mind that you can. In other words, you will not activate that life body. The body is taken on uh, what I would call a body of death as the result of living linearly and not presently. And as a result of living in duality instead of in singularity. Uh, the mind and body has begun to live in this time-based consciousness instead of living in that timeless mind of the here and the now. One of the ways we can begin to sink into this timeless body, this light body, another way to begin to activate the light body is by letting go of what we think and what we believe. Everything that you believe, if you believe that you are something, then you also, that something must also believe in something else. This is the reason why people believe in God the way that they do. They believe in a God that is separate from them in the same way that they believe that their mom and dad, their brother and their sister, their friends and their family and their strangers all around them are separate beings, separate, completely separate individual beings. We are 
not separate. It's just in your mind. There is no inside and outside. It's all one beautiful entangled knot of energy and light. The more you believe about yourself, and the more you believe in general about that that self believes in general, the more you'll carry burdens, the more you'll carry weight. Now the light body is not meant to carry weight. The light body is meant to be free. So your true avatar light body is meant to live as a pure source of energy, giving energy to all. So your aura is expanding and everything in your aura and everything in your expression and everything from your words that you speak to the way that your eyes penetrate another soul to the way that your aura feels and radiating positivity all of this is pure energy beautiful and pure and good and it's radiating to all the plant life and to everything around you However, when, again, we believe we are something and we take in information and that information comes in and we hold on to it, it becomes stagnant. That stagnancy actually creates a very heavy atmosphere. It lowers the volume or the frequency that we're manifesting in these bodies as. So, in other words, your aura will be diminished. You, the way that you feel will be feel sluggish. And um, and this is also one of the reasons why people eat and do the thing. Anyway, it's another story for another time, the way that we're living. But I'll save that for another video. Um, so last, 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 very last thing I want to talk to you about here is, is letting go of all that you think. So all that stagnant information that you're bringing in, let go of it. Hold it loosely. In other words, you can let, even what I'm saying now, let it come and wash over you. And then let it go. And so you're letting, as this pure body of light is activating, as is, is expanding in conscious awareness, then information comes like a breath, like an in-breath coming in and out, moving around, circulating through your body, circulating through your blood, and then coming out. In the same way, all information comes in and then manifest outward and whatever isn't something that should manifest doesn't we don't have to think about it we don't have to spend a lot of time with it we don't have to believe it you don't have to believe what I'm saying is real or not you can hate what I'm saying or like what I'm saying it's irrelevant to my existence because there's no self here to be offended by you because I know that there's not a you that is actually offending me so I need you to Grasp with me right now. One of the biggest hindrances to activating your light body is that you are looking for information to activate your light body instead of allowing it to come and go. Allow this energy that's coming that I'm speaking right now to come in and then go. Come in and go. And this will begin to remove the number one hindrance to the activation of your light body. I'll speak more on this at another point. We'll do another video on this. Um, tomorrow I might talk about one of the, so you can check it out tomorrow's video. It comes out at 7 a.m. where I might talk about Heaven's Mana, which is a very practical, um, mellow, high, and there's some very basic meditation practices that you can begin to do to reprogram the subconscious of the avatar so that it will experience this baseline high and um, and this is another way to begin to activate that avatar and to step into awareness and to begin to as an energy form just flow like the wind through the cosmos you can also check out uh, the rest of the daily video, the daily trip videos right here. I hope you do so. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. I love you guys. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.